Hey, what's up turtles? It's Crick here with Black Eye Outdoors. And today I'm going to be doing a review on the Mountain Hardware Fluid 18 Technical Pack. Now, before I get into the review of this pack, I want to preface all this by saying Sierra Trading Post contacted us and, interest, and asked if we were interested in doing a product review collaboration. Uh, if you're not uh, familiar with Sierra Trading Post, it is a really cool website that has a bunch of discounted outdoor gear and apparel. <clears throat> I've actually, yeah, my down sleeping bag I purchased got a good deal from them a few years back. Uh, but nonetheless, it's a cool site. Check it out. A lot of good deals, a lot of good discounts. And addition to doing this um, review of this pack, Sierra Trading Post has been generous enough to actually give us a 25% off discount link, which will be in the description below, which is basically site-wide. I believe there's a few items um, that are excluded from that. But basically, this pack retails for $110. I think the discounted price on Sierra Trading Post is 80 bucks, but with the additional 25% they've given exclusively for the Black Outdoors, this pack will be about 60 bucks, which is pretty dang cheap. Um, but getting into the pack now, some of the features of the pack. Starting on the side, we have two stuffed pockets with this expandable mesh material. So on each side, on the other side just shown, and then on this side here, you see how much this really expands, able to hold a water bottle. Um, you know, over time, I'm not sure if this elasticity is going to stay in this shape, but this is reinforced at the top here, so that if it is going to stretch, you're going to have stress on it, this should keep its form pretty well over time to keep this secure. And this is a 40 ounce water bottle, so it's kind of on the bigger end. The whole bag is constructed out of, the main body of the bag is constructed out of the 100D ripstop, which is this darker red right here. And on the front here, this hex nut is 210D, a little bit stronger. See the hex nut design in it. A little bit stronger, and this is this is um, shows up on the bag and more stress points on the bottom. Actually, right and right here, running up the back, you can see this is this higher uh, rip stop. Um, this is the medium and large size. There's also small and medium. <clears throat> Actually, with the medium and large, it increases the pack volume to 20 liters as opposed to the 18 for a small medium. And this pack weighs under two pounds, which is a super light pack with this really thin, um, thin but strong ripstop nylon. This is the flame color option with this, the highlighted white and gray, which I really like. On the outside here, like I sort of started to touch on with this pocket, with this higher uh, ripstop, is sort of this marsupial pocket, if you will. And this will accommodate um, a helmet, riding helmet and or climbing helmet only if you don't have so much packed inside the bag. As you can see, as I open this up sort of to its full capacity with the comp compression straps open, there's really not that much room in here. There is, but I'm gonna have to stress and push on the inside of the, the compartment and my contents on the inside of the bag. But nonetheless, it is capable, it's open. Uh, you can, excuse me, expand it open to what you need. These two compression straps on each side that you just saw me fidgeting with. One here, one here. <clears throat> Excuse me, down here we have a loop for ice axe and uh, trekking poles. A little of attachment point right here with a little bit of reflecting material on it. Up top here I got my carabiner hanging off just this little piece of uh, nylon up here. And there's a small little grab handle up here. Doesn't need to be any bit much bigger for this pack. There's two zipper tracks that you see up top here. This is for the main compartment, and this one is specifically designated for a hydration reservoir or bladder. And because this pack, I'm gonna turn it around and sort of show you, because this pack is very sort of elongated with the body, you can see how narrow this pack is as opposed to being pushed out in sort of more of a rectangular shape. This is very narrow and running up here, meaning as my hydration bladder would sit from the hoop or from the loop up here, the end of my bladder would hang right here with all this extra space in the compartment. So what I had to do, because actually this broke, there used to be a little uh, clip right here. I had to put a piece of string around it to let it hang so there wouldn't be so much pressure when this is full just hanging in the pack. So this allowed it to sit down towards the bottom of the pack. Tape seams on this to keep out some weather over the zipper track. Moving on to the back. Has this cool wave system that they're calling, which is inside underneath this mesh right here, underneath the pad. You can see it's sort of this orange color and it's sort of a wave accordion style, if you will. 
which uh, will allow less points of contact to open up a little bit of air channel in here when your bag touches this. Gives a lot more uh, structures too well to the bag because this is a thin, uh, thin, thinly constructed material of the bag. Very nice size lumbar pad right here, which allows the weight to sit comfortably on the lower back. I've had this pack to about 16 pounds in here, which is a decent amount of weight for a pack of, of you know, under two pounds itself. Very, very nice, generously sized hip belt with this uh, very comfort, comfortable and ventilated which again transfers the weight well around the hips. The more points of contact allows the weight to be transferred and fits more securely to the body. On each hip belt, there is two nice size pockets, sort of mesh some sort of stretch, stretch capabilities of the pocket. Inside here, I just have a, a hand lens, solifier, ID and plants, looking things close up, all that. I wouldn't recommend putting anything too bulky in here or too rigid because you do want this to be able to conform to the curvature of your body as it's going around the hips. So if you put a strong or a big uh, bulky item in here, it's not gonna be able to bend with the body. It's not gonna be comfortable. So just keep that in mind. And on the other side, again, is the other hip belt. But these are definitely a nice size, definitely a nice size pocket. One to the shoulder straps. Has a, has a D-ring on here. There's one on each side, D-ring on each side. Adjustable uh, sternum strap right here. One side, each side goes up and down, depending where you like it, where you need it. Ventilated. And one thing I can say about these shoulder straps is, geez, these are comfortable. <laughs> On the side here, you can see how this material from the underneath is rolling up, rolling up, rolling up as one continuous piece of fabric. There's no hard sewn seam right here. So that if you do want to wear this next to your skin or with a tank top on where it's going to be touching your bare skin, you're not going to have um, more increased uh, a chance of a hot spot occurring from a hard material and or a, or a sewn, uh, sewn um, connection point with here. So again, these are really comfortable, ventilated. The overall theme of this pack is just, it is super comfortable, super comfortable for me. And he has compression straps here, which will help secure the weight closer, um, to help secure the weight on your body. And I'll get the pack on and I'll show you how it fits and all that good stuff. Inside the main compartment now, I have uh, just a rain shell right now, whole hammock sleeping system, and there's one zippered pocket inside here. Zipper track here, a little bit of a key holder to hold your, uh, hold your keys. I have a bar in here, a compass inside a felt case I made, really like, really proud, and uh, a multi-tool, winger multi-tool. And that is the ins and outs of this pack. Now, I'm gonna get it on and show you the on-the-fly compressions. Actually, let me get this pack back up. I'll get the pack on me and show you the on-the-fly uh, comp compression system. That's one reason, one feature in concert that I really, why I really like this bag. Get this all buttoned up tight. Now I like to get the pack on, I like to start with my hip belt on my hips where I want the weight to be carried. Get my shoulder straps adjusted for the weight in the position I like. Sternum strapped to help keep the shoulder straps in place. Okay, now on the fly compression system that I mentioned before, at the top here where my hands are reaching for, I'm pulling these two tabs, and as I pull them, you can see how it's bringing the bag closer to me, the top of it, it's bringing it closer to me. And what that does is really secure the weight up here. And I can just tell you right now, this weight is being transferred more evenly across me, across my back. In addition to this up here is another cool part of the compression system, is on each side here, you can see there's my finger running through this little orange right here, this little tab right here, which is running through the pocket and another one over here. And if you look back here through this pocket, right here, this is where this, can, where this is uh, attached to. When I pull on this little tab, as you see that's it's cinching through there. And on the other side, I'll do the same thing. And again, that's bringing the weight closer to my body and it's securing it on top of just the hip belt and the shoulder straps being adjusted from this point. 
So get, this is a really cool feature of this bag. And honestly, then I got this one. I feel like the weight is just hugging my body. It's really, really great to me. And that's why I chose a pack like this because I can move around with it. I can jump around. You know, I feel like the weight's really balanced as I'm moving around, jumping around on logs. The weight's not shifting at all on me. My impressions of this bag is that I really like it. It's the most comfortable pack I've ever worn. And that's saying a lot. I really like packs. I love gear. I've had a lot on. I'm really critical of bags. And the biggest thing for me is a pack has to be comfortable before any of the features are considered. Whew. Let me catch my breath for a second. There's a few things I want to comment on about this bag. One, I'm going to show you real quick. I think it has to do with the fit issue. Um, just maybe this medium large is a little bit big for my torso. Is that when I take this top layer out, just the top thing, and I only have this, say, I'll call it packed half full. Is that when it's on my back, I sort of get a pivot point right here that there's not always contact with my back. And I think that's just because my torso is just a little bit small for this medium large, but that's okay. Not a diss on the pack. I think it's just, um, for me, I just didn't get the right size pack. And again, that's important, but nonetheless, I wouldn't trade this pack in. I wouldn't get a smaller size. I really like it. I like the extra two liters. It works really well. Harping on the comfort. Again, I can't get over how comfortable this is. I really like the on-the-fly compression that as, as I'm cinching this to me, it's really great. Uh, another thing to keep in mind with this style of pack, though, for comfort, because it is thin, um, designed sort of with thin material, is that you need to be very thoughtful on how you put your items inside of it if you're not just going to be putting in you know, some layers, a big hank of rope if you're going to be climbing, using this to, to, to take uh, up to a summit or um, approach is that you need to be thoughtful. Like I said, I've had 16 pounds in this with some pretty oddly shaped items, some, some metal canisters, uh, different stuff of that nature, and had to be really thoughtful to get it comfortable because you can feel what's inside of it, but just with a little bit of forethought and messing around, you can get this still very comfortable with more weight inside the pack. One, one other thing I would have liked to see on this bag, it's not so much a harp on the design or a disc for this design because it is designed for as a technical bag, it's just a zipper pocket, something on the outside here, just another small pocket, another sealable closed pocket, just to put some smaller items in. And like all bags, I'd like to see an integrated rain cover just come with all packs. That's just, I think, should be standard anymore. But nonetheless, this is a great bag. Um, any questions about this pack, anything they didn't cover, anything you want to add to it, please leave a comment. Again, I'd just like to thank uh, Chris at Sierra Trading Post for giving this opportunity, giving us the discount code again. Go to check out their site, um, get the link in the description below to get that 25% off of the already discounted gear. This is Crick signing out with Black Outdoors. Later, turtles.